Hi guys, uh, it's been a while since I've shared something from the Bible with you. So I've been going over the book of Second Timothy chapter 3, uh, which talks about in the last days perilous times shall come, men shall be lovers of themselves, without natural affection, which I believe refers to homosexuality, which is rampant today. It's saturating the media. And uh, I just believe that we are living in the last days, and it's quite obvious with everything that's going on in politics and the world today. I just feel it's very important that as a Christian, you hold fast to your faith. And in Hebrews 12, it talks about laying aside the sin which doth easily beset us, okay? So I was thinking, is there something in my life that is keeping me from the, the relationship with God that I need to have, okay? Is my life solely sold out 100% to God, or do I have one foot in the world and one foot in the church, and I'm straddling the fence, and God says that a lukewarm Christian, he's going to spew out of his mouth. And so you're either 100% for God or you're against God, okay? So this is what I've been dealing with. I love my soap operas, and I would justify it by saying, oh, well, they're only stories. They're only, you know, they're only make-believe. They're only pretend. And the Holy Spirit would nudge me and say, well, Kathy, no. There's fornication that you're watching. There's adultery that you're watching. There's murder. There's rape. And... A Christian shouldn't be watching that stuff. And I remember I'd try to bargain with God and I'd be like, oh, but I'm only going to watch until Sam gets her baby back. Or I'm only going to watch until such and such, you know. And, and God says, no, Kathy, you just have to break away and you have to stop doing it. If you want me to fill you with, with my spirit and you want to be um, totally sold out for me, then you need to stop doing these things that are hindering your relationship with me. Okay, so I just call Turkey had to stop watching my soap operas because it's hindering my relationship with God. Okay, so that's what it's talking about in Hebrews, laying aside the sin which doth, e doth easily beset us. Okay, is there something in your life that you're dealing with that you know shouldn't be there that's hindering your relationship with God? Okay, we're, like I said, we're, we're living in the last days and I believe the rapture of the church is imminent and... I believe the lukewarm church will not be raptured, okay? You need to be totally sold out for God, living for Him. You can't have one foot in the world and one foot in the church, and, you know, it's just, it's just not going to work, okay? And I think there's going to be a lot of people um, left behind and surprised, okay? So I just thought I'd share that with you. It's, a, it's not a, you know, a sweetness and light message. It's, it's very um, eye-opening. It was, it was eye-opening for me because I was straddling the fence myself. You know, one foot in the world, one foot in the church. Oh, yeah, I'm a Christian. I read my Bible. But am I, I'm watching my soap operas. Am I listening to worldly music? Um, oh, there goes my cat. Am I doing things that I know are wrong that are hindering my relationship with God? So take heed to what the, to what the Bible's saying here and take a look at your own life and if there's anything in there that's um, hindering you from a, from a relationship with God, then get rid of it, okay? All right, guys, thanks, and we'll see you next time. Bye.